Yeah, my friends are basic a, a long time friends. Um, as I mentioned very early, Kevin Risley, who was in the bank with me, and we went to kindergarten together. He and Judas, his wife, she was a banker too, but in the opposition. And our lives were very similar. We played footy together. We, we uh, had our children in the same hostel two days apart. And uh, we still, uh, I was only on the phone to them the other day. And then I used to play cricket for 20 years at Dan Old Cricket Club, which I was a life member and so was my wife. And Ian Johnson turned up one day, he was a 17-year-old uni student with blonde hair down past his shoulders and arrived on a scooter. Uh, and we're not a, a, a Honda scooter, whatever it was, well, we couldn't believe who this bloke was. And he was a country kid. Anyway, he and I clicked and he and his ex-wife used to come to our place for dinner every weekend because they lived at the university and they were like living in a shoebox. So they'd come to our place and there's a photo of him and I painting my pool. That was uh, a 40 degree day, painting white paint on a pool was not fun. That was what I call friendship. <laughs> and he now um, became Trent's godfather. And even now when I'm a bit ill, he's always here every week taking me to a hospital or taking me out for lunch. So yeah, we've remained great mates over the years. And uh, other friends sort of come and go. I've always had, Roslyn had some friends she used to work with and we had a, a very tight knit group of four married couples and we used to have dress up parties and all sorts of things. After the breakup, I remained very friendly with Trish and David, who were part of that group, and Lynn Wright and Graham. Unfortunately, Graham and one of the other men have passed away, so there's only myself and David left out of that group, and he's not well. So the women are going strong, but the men are just about gone. But Trish and David are very good to me. They always ring and come and visit, him, even though he's not well. And Trish and David are have been friends since the kids were babies. And um, got the men's was Graham and Pam Lonnie. It's a funny story how we met them. We were, Ros and I were going to Tasmania. It was before we had children. And we got to the Princess of Tasmania ramp. And there's a couple, and this chap was on crutches. And his wife was carrying both suitcases that she could only get them. So I said, look, you go up, I'll carry your suitcases up. I was fit once, and I carried them up. So we got talking. Anyway, for the rest of the whole trip in Tasmania, we never parted. And we got the honeymoon suites, Ros and I, and they got single beds the whole trip. They always in heaven. How come you got it? <laughs> so here yeah, we we had a wonderful trip around Tajik. I think I didn't see much of Tajik that trip. I just saw the inside of a pub every night and day. So from then we, they live in New South Wales in Narendra. So we used to go and visit them and vice versa. And they had a couple of kids. And then like most when Ros and I divorced, it sort of slipped away. I didn't make contact, they didn't contact. And anyway, where the kids go to boarding school is only five minutes from where they live. So I went up there one day and I said, I wonder if they're still here. So I went into a shop and asked her, you know, the Lonnie. She said, no, I don't, but I've got a local phone book. And I looked up and I found their phone number in the book. So I rang them up and I said, uh, hello, would that be Mrs Lonnie? And she said, Graham Casson, you old bastard. And that was 40 years in between, as you knew me straight off. And now we've been in contact for the last 10 years, and regularly he comes and stays and vice versa. So we rekindled the friendship. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah. Then there's John in Broken Hill, who still contacts. We have a chat and a laugh. He always reckoned I've still got the first 20 bucks in my wallet I've ever had, I've never taken it out. 
He's always shouting. I said, well, if you shout, why should I worry? So he's always picking, but that's just fun. And, uh, yeah, so they're the basic main friends. A lot of other friends, oh, Graham and Lawrence Sherwood. I met him in the bank the first week, and we're still keeping in touch. So they're another couple, that I said, they're down in uh, Mornington. Unfortunately, they're a bit spread out now, so you don't see them as much as you used to. Mm. 